Hi guys, welcome back to Super Math for You. This is Mr. Regu, and today we're doing arithmetic sequences. There's two ways how to write those: recursive and an explicit formula. It depends on whatever we use for. My recursive formula is going to be a sub n equals a sub n minus one plus d, where a sub n is my nth term. A sub n minus one is the previous term to the a sub n. My d is my common difference. The explicit formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d n minus 1. a sub n again is my nth term, a sub 1 is my first term, d is the common difference, n is my term, whatever they ask me for. The examples are going to be a of 54, right? So the n would be 54 in that case. Let's do some examples. The first question is find the common difference for each sequence. That's it. So we're looking for the value of D. To find the value of D, the whole idea is to take the number on the right and subtract the left. Number on the right, subtract the left. D equals 20 minus 16. D equals 16 minus 12. This value is the D value and it has to be constant. Let's do another one d is going to be negative 1 minus 1, 1 minus 3. Regardless whatever values I use, if this is an arithmetic sequence, this d value has to be a constant value. It has to be always the same value. Let's move on. Find the common difference and the next three numbers on each arithmetic sequence. All right, so we need to find a question. What kind of question they're asking me? Difference, now we know what to do. And then the three next terms in the arithmetic sequence for that, let's go back to this. So my recursive formula is used to find the next few terms, all right? So then in this case, the nine is my first term, the 16 is my second term, the 23rd, 23 is gonna be my next term. If you notice the sub index that I'm writing, the one, the two, the three, tells me the position where my term are located in my sequence. The nine is the first term, therefore is a sub one. The 16 is my second term, therefore is a sub two. The 23 is my third term, therefore is a sub three. So they're asking me for the next three terms, which means I'm looking for a sub four, a sub five, a sub six, okay? So the sub index, the tiny number, tells me the position in my sequence. Not the value, but the position that occupies on my sequence. The place. First place, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth place. That's what it tells me. Now that we know that, let's go back to the question. Find the common difference in the next three terms. My common difference is going to be 23 minus 16, which is 7. Or... 16 minus 9, which is 7, you see, is a constant value. All right, my, that's my, the value of D. Now let's find the next three terms. Next three terms, I go back to the recursive formula. A sub n, A sub n minus 1, plus D. All right, next three terms. We're looking for A sub 4. A sub 4 equals... A sub n minus 1. If the n is 4, then 4 minus 1 is going to give me 3 plus d. A sub 4 is my question. A sub 3, I already have a sub 3. That's my third term, which is 23 in this case, plus d, which is 7. Therefore, a sub 4 is 30. A sub 5 is the previous a sub 4 plus d. A sub 4 is 30, plus the difference, which is 7. I hope you see by now the pattern. They go by 7s. 9 plus 7 is 16, plus 7 is 23, plus 7 is 30, plus 7 is 37, plus 7 is 44. Okay, A sub 6 is A sub 5 plus D. A sub 6 equals A sub 5, which is 37, plus 7, which is 44. So finding the next few values is simple, as long as you have the common difference, okay? All right, let's move on. 
So the directions for problem number nine is they're giving me the formula, which is the explicit. They want the equation for the nth term of the sequence. The idea when they ask me for the nth term is so I can plug in any value that I want, like a sub 50, a sub 70, a sub 2000. It doesn't matter what n value is. And then in this formula, once I replace it, I can find any value. Let's go to it. So for here, I need to find the a1, which is my first term, and the d, which we know how to do, this minus that, or this minus that, which in this case is going to be 3. So now that we know 7 minus 4 is going to give me 3, so that's my difference, and my a sub 1 is the first value of my sequence. Let's plug it in. a sub n equals a sub 1, which is 4, plus d, which is 3, n minus 1. Remember, I don't want to replace the n. I want everything in terms of n. Once you have this, it's just a matter of doing a little bit of algebra. 3 times n minus 3, combine like terms, like that, or, okay, now this is your nth, the formula for the nth term. And I can ask you anything. Let's find it n a sub of 20. How much is that? The only thing that I have to do is replace the n for 20, and whatever I see in n is going to be a 20. In my case, 61. 8 of 300. It doesn't matter. It's my same formula, and whatever I see in n, I replace by 300. 3 times 300 plus 1. 3 times 300 is 900 plus 1 is 901. Okay, so the idea is to get the explicit formula starting from the general formula. 15, same idea. Given the equation for the nth term, find the first three. First three is going to be a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3. First three numbers of the sequence. Okay, we go back to the problems that we had before. First three values, first, second, and third. Okay, a1, two and a three in my case that's what they want me to find so the only thing i have to do is oh, i'm looking for a sub one then it's going to be eight times instead of the n one eight times one is eight minus thirteen negative five a sub two eight times instead of the n two minus my common difference thirteen well actually let's combine eight times two sixteen minus thirteen is three a sub 3, a times 3 minus 13, a times 3 is 24, minus 13 is going to give you 11, okay? So these are the first three values that they want you to find. Let's go next. In this case, let's disregard the directions, okay? Because most likely they're not going to give it to you, all right? They will give you some information, and in here, instead of the M14, they will say, oh, find... Um, a plus 14, and that will be the question. Instead of the M14, they will ask you something like this, okay? And you're not going to have this. So what's going to happen is the following. That's when we go back and we look at the formulas. Oh, the recursive, this is having the previous term, right? And they will ask you for the next few terms. The explicit is to find a specific term in the sequence, all right? And for that, you need your first term and your common difference. In our case, we're going to find the explicit formula, which is a sub 1 plus d n minus 1. Uh, we need a, a sub 14, so a sub, a sub 1 is 3. My common difference is 7. My n is 14, what they're asking me for. All right, this value, the a sub, the sub index. Okay, and after that, it's just basic math. 14 minus 1 is 13. Then I multiply. 7 times 13 is 91, I believe. 70 and 21. And last is 94. And that's how you find it. Okay, I hope this helps, guys. Uh, if you learn something, please like the video. That's the main thing, like the video. And subscribe to our channel. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.